Hi, welcome to Ian HRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video for a what's in my camera bag. So today's video is all about what's in my camera bag and uh, there it is. Um, yeah, that's now my camera bag compared to uh, what I was using for my Canon 70D and kit, which was a full, massive, um, big size rucksack, which weighed a ton. Um, I have made the move this year to Micro Four Thirds. I've gone for the Olympus system, which was a massive decision. Um, it meant changing uh, the camera, the lenses, the learning curve, um, the different crop factor, the whole new ecosystem. I've gone from Canon, um, sold all of my Canon gear, which was a ball lake if ever there was one, and moved to Micro Four Thirds and went for the Olympus. Uh, went for the Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II as my camera of choice um, because it was the cheaper one, pretty much. Um, but um, yeah, I'm really happy with the camera. But anyway, let's have a look at what's in the bag. So this is the new bag. It's um, very, well, it's not particularly light actually with everything in there. Um, it's still got a bit of weight behind it, but compared to the other one, it's so much easier to carry around. Right, let's open said bag. And first of all, let's have a look in here. Um, we have loads of SD cards, spare ones, which um, I never use, which shouldn't really all be together like that. There's three in here somewhere, there we go. We have a um, old 16 gig, which, you know, is there just in case I ever need it. Um, hopefully I won't. We have a 32 gig and a 32 gig as well. So, um, yeah, they're there. I doubt I'll use them, but it's always good to have spare camera cards with you just in case it takes your fancy to use a different one. Right. Um, this bag is really nice, actually. It's very well padded. Um, it's um, just a cheapo one off Amazon, but it's it's really nice inside. And I like the red as well. It looks good. And it comes with a little waterproof pouch that you can put over the head of it. Right. Let's get everything out. So get all these lenses out, which is actually quite a few, but some of them will be replaced shortly right and there's the camera itself let's just put that down there and then on the sides let's just have a look at everything uh a cleaning cloth and um, some business cards in there uh yes there you go business cards uh, yeah. if you want to have a look at the website i'll put the link on the video somewhere and then on this side we have um spare batteries in fact, two spare batteries, which should have those on there. Let's take those out. Um, these are generic ones. I have one official one and then these two generic ones, which are perfectly adequate and probably last slightly longer than the official one as well and are at least a third the price. Um, we have a little bolt attachment for the that on there and then there should be a cleaning stuff in there anyway. Yes, that's fine. So I have two cameras because the battery life on the camera is not amazing. Um, and it definitely wouldn't get me through a day. Oh, oh up, sod that again. There you go, put that down over there. Right, let's arrange the stuff, shall we? So, first of all, let's go over the lenses. That is the full lineup of lenses. Um, should we get that in? No, no, let's just go over there. So, we have the first one, which is the uh, Olympus um, kit lens which comes with the camera the 14 to 42 this one will be replaced very shortly talk about that in a moment we have the 60 millimeter macro lens from Olympus which is a very very nice lens indeed the second kit lens which is the 40 to 150 this one will be uh, put into a cupboard never to be used again probably we have the 16 millimeter sorry 19 millimeter art lens from Sigma um, I would do wish Sigma would do some more Micro Four Thirds lenses because this one is very nice indeed. And we have the uh, most recent purchase, the 75 to 300 millimeter telephoto zoom lens. And an honourable mention to a lens which isn't in the bag all the time, but is very nice indeed, is this um, vintage 50 millimeter lens, which I have done a separate video on. Very nice. So this one is really no longer required because I've got this yes there's a slight difference in the the photo telephoto lens but if i'm zooming stuff in then this will be the one that i shall be using most the second kit lens which because i change systems i wouldn't normally buy kit lenses but because i change systems i needed something straight away um is this one which is a perfectly acceptable lens however um, i am going to be replacing it with the um 12 to 40 
Pro lens shortly for Olympus uh, as a general walkabout lens because you know it's a better aperture, it's f2.8, uh, whereas this is uh, the minimum aperture is 3.5, so it's a very slow lens compared to that one. But that one's quite expensive, but I shall be buying that shortly. And then we have these other lenses. So basically, what will be in the kit lens will be in the kit bag will be those three plus a replacement for that. But I will do another video when I get it right. Let's talk about the camera because I've done separate videos on all of these. So this is what I went for. The Olympus OMD EM10 Mark II Micro Four Thirds. Um, at the moment, it has got this grip on here, which is uh, very nice indeed. Again, the official Olympus version, I think, is about £70 um, and does pretty much the same. This is a third party version, which I got off Amazon, um, which just adds an extra grip because I find the grip on the actual camera to be quite shallow um, and this metal construction just adds a bit of extra grip on there particularly if you've got a longer lens it just feels a lot more comfortable um, and then you can adjust as well it clips onto the um, tripod stand and then there's an extra tripod stand there and then you can adjust it there is a little adapter which you can put on to there which allows you to have it portrait if you want it on a tripod as well and then just this little strap um, I didn't really want a full round your neck strap. I just wanted something that when I'm walking around, the camera doesn't slip. And that just gives me a little bit of security. Um, it's leather made with a bit of rope. Looks like a dog lead. Um, but again, it was only off Amazon and it just adds a bit of security when you're walking around that no one can pinch it off you. And this, if, if you drop the camera, it's got some protection and not going to smash on the floor. I'll just give you uh, the manufacturer of this particular um, adapter. It is Fitus, F I T T E S T. Um, it is the LB OM, OMD EM10 II adapter. Um, I'll put a link down below. It's really nice. It's very, very well made. Um, and I would highly recommend it if you find the grip on this one particularly shallow, which I do. So, have I regretted moving systems from Canon to Micro Four Thirds? Do you know, the honest answer is no, not really. Um, I'm really pleased with it. I'm pleased with the system. It's so much easier to carry around. Um, I have all the focal ranges covered at the moment uh, with one more lens to go on to it, as I've said earlier. Um, but the pitch quality that comes out, to be honest, I see very little difference between this and my Canon 70D. Yes, you're not going to get the full frame, low light performance, etc. I'm not particularly bothered about that. Um, the pictures I've done on these have actually been better received on uh, my social media websites um, and social media accounts than uh, the other pictures as well. So particularly the Canon, the macro lens, very, very good quality, extremely sharp, very light um, and, and nice lens. Uh, the travel zoom, I haven't really used that much at the moment. I haven't been places to use it, but early impressions, I'm really liking that one. Um, and the kit lens, if if all you want is a walk around camera, the kit lens is perfectly fine. It's got a nice profile on there that will probably stay in my bag uh, if you're doing street photography, etc. Um, the art lens, it's a really nice lens, very, very sharp indeed. And then this, if if you're just after a cheap and cheerful zoom lens, um, then again, this is perfectly acceptable. Um, but that one will be leaving the bag shortly right. There you go. Um, I would highly recommend the Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, it's I know a lot of people disparage it, but I am really enjoying it. Thanks for watching Ian HRP on YouTube. I hope you've enjoyed this video. There'll be more videos coming up shortly. Until then, bye for now.